welcome back so today i wanted to do a video about my white leather trainers i have kind of admired the dad sneaker trend for a while now but i think personally i just gravitate more towards the leather finish rather than the mesh finish just because i feel a little bit more myself with it so I have kind of accumulated three pairs of leather trainers that are, I think, quite popular in the whole sneaker world. Um, so I thought I would do like a review and comparison between the three pairs. And I also wanted to show you a brand new pair that I bought um, from a brand that I just discovered literally this past weekend. And I ordered it immediately after finding out about them. And I'm so happy with the quality so far. So I'll do kind of a first impressions on those as well. I think I'll start with the first pair that I got. And I think also in terms of luxury perspective, the higher end of the three pairs. Um, and they are my common projects. This is what they look like. So these are the Common Projects Achilles Low in the plain white. Um, I'm just going to hold one pair because it squeaks if I put them together. This is a pair that I got in 2017. Um, it is actually the first kind of piece of luxury item that I bought when I moved to London. Um, I think you'll hear me referencing that a lot, um, that I bought a lot of luxury things when I first moved here because I just, I was so excited about living in a new city and I wanted to kind of emulate a new wardrobe. So a lot of the staple pieces that I got um, was from when I first moved to London. So this was from 2017. I've had this for almost four years now. And this is my first pair of kind of luxury leather trainers that I bought. I have a few friends who've had this and they really loved it and they recommended it. And I think back then in 2017, Common Projects was kind of going through a much more popular phase so that's kind of how I found out about it so yeah this is the original low Achilles um, trainers in the plain white as I said um, in terms of features and sizing I got a size down my usual size is actually a Europe 40 and a UK 7 and I believe an FR 41 so in French sizing I think they go um, smaller one size so this is in a size 39 and you can tell by the sizing over here it's a little bit rubbed off now but the thing in the middle is actually the sizing and then these two serial codes i'm not sure what the significance of that is but definitely you can tell what the sizing of the shoe is by looking at the middle two digits over here um so yeah i sized down one size this is generally the recommendation and because it is an all leather trainer the leather will stretch over time not by a significant amount but enough to make it feel a little bit more loose so if it does feel snug when you first get it don't be afraid like it will stretch out after a few wears or maybe a month or so after um at first it's not too small it just feels a bit tighter and more kind of like a kind of like a cozy blanket wrapped around your foot I love this pair of trainers. This kind of was the pair that kind of set off the whole white trainers look for me. I didn't used to think that white trainers went with everything, but I think with like everybody else as well. Like in around 2017, we found out that white trainers actually go with everything. So um, this is definitely in terms of silhouette, very slim compared to the ones that are a bit more dad sneaker um, inspired. So yeah, this is definitely really, really slim. It kind of reminds me more of a bowling shoe. In terms of features, it's very, very minimal. There's no kind of like perforated top like my other trainers do. And the laces are actually tied up in such a unique way that I had to have my friend redo it for me because I didn't know how to do it. Ignore the inside. I'm sorry that it looks really disgusting. But this is actually um, just from colors transfer from my black socks that I always wear with these. The overall look, I do think that these are super versatile. I know that the dad sneakers is definitely much more popular right now, but I think this is just so timeless and classic and minimal and kind of unobtrusive that it will stand the test of time. And once the dad sneaker trend, if ever, goes away, then you still have a very trusty kind of pair of very plain, very simple and minimal pair of trainers. Quality wise, I think these are impeccable. I've had them for four years now and for the first year and a half, I wore these literally every single day. I didn't think that anything that I owned elsewhere was kind of the same vibe and fit that I was trying to go for. So definitely I wore these for about a year and a half straight to like almost every single day or at least five or six times a week, which is saying something definitely in terms of like scratches in the front, there are a lot. Um, 
and I've cleaned them multiple times already just with some shoe cleaner cleaner and then if I didn't have shoe cleaner I would clean it with a toothbrush a very soft brand new toothbrush like a soft bristle baby toothbrush with some dishwashing soap and water and the stains will come off obviously over time these scratches are in the leather now so these aren't just dead dirt marks these are actually scuff marks so they are a little bit darker but you know nothing has really come apart I think you can tell right here that there's some kind of holes now over here but I don't think that's the fault of the trainers at all I've had them for four years and worn them so much that this is probably a natural kind of course of action that happens um, in terms of comfort these are so comfortable and at first like I said it, it does feel a little bit more snug and just because I guess a mindset thing as well like sizing down for me I was like is it too small but it actually isn't and because everything is padded in leather like you can see over here there's a bit of a squishy part and the tongue over here is also padded with some sort of foam material and everything within the shoe over here is completely leather except for this little back part over here which I guess is either suede or cloth so that your foot doesn't slip out everything else is leather so it just feels really snug and comfortable but like in kind of a tighter way at first and then after a while it molds to your feet completely like if I put my hand in I can feel the indents and rivets where my foot is like you know the most weight um, and yeah it just completely molds your foot it stretches out quite a bit like over here so it doesn't feel as like snug and tightly bound as when you first purchase it um, and it just feels like wearing something really comfortable it doesn't feel like wearing slippers because obviously you're wearing leather trainers but there's no rubbing at all there's no kind of pressure points with my foot I really struggle with Adidas brand trainers actually when I like bend my foot like this a lot of the times if the leather is really stiff it really hurts the top of my foot where it bends because the leather juts into my bone area um, my, my feet are quite bony so maybe that's also why as well but yeah, like I really struggle sometimes with these things and common projects, I've never had an issue with that at all. So yeah, I think 10 out of 10 would recommend. This is definitely the oldest pair and the most worn pair of my collection. And then the second pair that I purchased were these Veyas. I think I purchased them um, in end of 2018 actually no sorry end of 2019 i keep thinking like 2020 didn't happen but um end of 20 um no end of 2019 sorry god um these are my veyas these are a bit like also kind of a bit battered looking so i'm sorry for that but these are the regular v10s so they're not the vegan version and they're not like the slimmer version which is the v12 um these are just the regular v10s and I purchased them in Black Friday of 2019. Um, I got kind of like a 20% deal, I think, from anthropology.com. So I wanted these for a while. As you can see, in terms of comparison, there is a kind of a height difference between the two. This looks or appears to have a kind of heavier and taller sole. And in terms of the kind of silhouette, you can also see that this pair is much chunkier in profile than this pair so the re rationale behind me purchasing this is that i wanted a chunkier style as opposed to this and this was also when the dad sneaker kind of trend took off but because i don't really feel the most comfortable and confident in a pair of mesh sneakers for some reason i just feel like i look a bit undone when i'm wearing them if i'm not working out or anything so i just wanted kind of to stick with the leather really do love them they took a while to become comfortable i got them in my usual size which is a uk7 eu40 and they fit in terms of like the proportions of my foot the only issue that i kind of struggled with was actually the bending part so this over here because the leather as you can see like i can maybe show you is quite stiff i don't know if you can hear that it feels almost kind of a little bit rubbery as opposed to this which is a quite a smooth kind of smooshy leather this is definitely much stiffer and the kind of tongue area which i know is a problem and pain point for a lot of people is that it is just a leather strip i don't know if you can see this so there's no padding or anything compared to the common projects when you can see there's like a little bit of foam over here so it's squishy this pair in from Veya is actually completely just leather so at the beginning it will kind of poke your ankle in an odd way like it just kind of hurts a little bit and if you wear pop socks or like no-show socks definitely don't do that when you first buy these because i actually did get a cut from the tongue um at the beginning but then i wore a kind of um longer ankle socks with them and then i pushed the tongue to the side as a lot of people have suggested and that kind of solved the issue and to be fair like once it actually wears down like you, you can see it's a bit like floppier now 
it doesn't hurt anymore and the more you kind of wear this pair of trainers um, this creasing also kind of gets a bit softer so that is just something to keep in mind they are quite stiff and kind of like rubbery when you first get them but they do kind of wear in with your foot and get very very comfortable afterwards um, in terms of like durability and versatility for styling I think these are definitely very very versatile I mean I got them in the most basic colors so black and white I know you can also get a white on white which I did order but I'm returning because I purchased the other pair um, like they just kind of serve the same kind of aesthetic and vibe I guess of the Nike Air Force Ones but just a little bit slimmer the Air Force Ones I believe in terms of height of the shoe is a bit higher so it comes up higher over here for me that just didn't really look right on my body proportions it kind of cut off where the slimmest part of my ankle was so I didn't want that to be covered by the shoe I wanted it to show that off so that it elongates my legs a little bit hopefully um, but yeah, these just kind of have the same kind of vibe. It has the perforated top, which isn't actually see-through. It's not like breathable because it has these like little holes. It actually has um, the lining inside that covers it. So this is just for aesthetics, basically. Um, and yeah, the shoelaces, I have to say, are very good. They feel like there's a lot of grip on it, so it's not going to come unrolled. Same thing with the common projects, like both of them have really good grip in terms of the shoelaces, which I find an issue sometimes with kind of sports trainers when they're kind of um, a bit more liquid and, and like free flowing. So then it, it, oftentimes you'll kind of get it unlaced. In terms of styling for these two, it's quite similar. I like to wear trainers with dresses as does a lot of people, I think. And, but it just gives a completely different vibe. For this kind of like very slim trainer, I think I would gravitate more towards the common projects if I'm trying to emulate a little bit more of a feminine vibe but then this I think offsets a girly outfit and makes it a bit more androgynous and looks slightly ever so slightly cooler I think so this is sleek and this is cool in my opinion so that's kind of um, the comparison between the two I would definitely highly recommend both of them price point wise it is quite different this pair I think retails now for 320 pounds which is a lot I bought this at Dover Street Market th four years ago for 260 pounds and this is I think retailing for 115 pounds nowadays but definitely wait around for codes and stuff it's always included you can at least get 20% off I think if you just kind of scour the internet a little bit and try to find a discount code so yeah price point wise quite different but I think they serve two very different purposes um the common projects I find that you know a, a inspired pair or a different kind of pair doesn't usually have like this kind of level of sleekness so I think it's harder to find a dupe for this than it is for the Veyas for the Veyas obviously you can go for the Nike Air Force ones which isn't that huge in price point to be honest so I mean for for me personally I would prefer the Veyas so yeah these are my V10s and then my third and last kind of pair of current um, white leather trainers is these from Acne Studios. These are, I believe, called the Percy and they are very, very chunky. So in, in terms of the three pairs, this is definitely the chunkiest one. Not in terms of height, just in terms of silhouette and profile. I'm just going to hold one pair up for you again to show you. So this is what they look like. They definitely have kind of a milkier gum sole effect on the kind of bottom over here, more so than the Vejas. The Vejas have the similar coloring, but I would say that they air a little bit more on the gray and yellow side, where this is, whereas this is much creamier. And what I really did love about this pair is that it has this gum, very authentic gum sole effect over here, which I just think that it offers a lot more dimension and texture to the shoe, which just gives it a little bit of interest, if that makes any sense. And sorry, let me unvelcro this so you can just see. This entire shoe is so comfortable. I know that my friends really hated it when they first saw it because they said that it kind of looked like nurse's shoes or like orthopedic shoes, but I think that is definitely like a, a really cool look and you know, there's definitely nothing wrong with an orthopedic shoe. I guess it just looks a little bit more functional rather than fashionable, but I think that is kind of the whole point of this as well. It has the same kind of perforated top bit over here that is again kind of covered by a mesh inside, so it's not like breathable or anything. Um, and it has these two Velcro straps that, that I really, really love. And on the inside, it has Acne Studios on the one that is um, closer to your ankle. And then this one in the bottom doesn't have any branding. And it also has Acne Studios on the side of the shoe right here in gold lettering. And it has 
lettering um, and it has the signature smiley face that Acne Studios puts on nearly everything that they can so it has very subtle branding but I think in terms of the silhouette of the shoe this is really unique I haven't really seen a inspired version or a dupe of this kind of silhouette on the high street so that's kind of one of the main reasons why I was really drawn to this shoe styling and versatility I really really love wearing this during winter times with um, really wide leg and flowy trousers just because I think that the velcro at the top over here makes it come together a bit cleaner than the shoelaces because you, you, as you can see with the shoelaces, they do just kind of flop around, but with the Velcro, it just kind of stays on your foot and it, the eye is just not really kind of drawn to any shoelaces or anything like that. Um, so under wide leg trousers, I think it looks really well and pairs really clean and sleekly while still being quite chunky. Comfort, these are so comfortable. I've never had any sort of break in period. As I said, the Common Projects, a bit like a tight hug when you first get them and the Vejas kind of cut you on the ankle when you first get them. I've never had any sort of issues with this. I walked, I think 15,000 steps. We went to Richmond Park the first ever time I wore these and I had no issues at all. It has a lot of padding all over the shoe. As you can see, all of this gray part over here is kind of mushy, foamy, pillowy texture and the tongue is very heavily padded as you can see. Um, so over here you can see that it's like really really squishy and it's really comfortable arch support I know that there's a little bit of a slant in the shoe So your foot doesn't feel completely flat inside So it does feel quite supported in terms of that But it's not as like chunky and squishy as for some reason I thought it would be just because of the look of it Inside it actually just feels like a very comfortable pair of regular trainers It's not like orthopedic or anything even though it kind of looks like it So yeah, I think it's just amazing in terms of quality. I think these are just amazing. There's kind of no loose stitching that I can see. Everything is finished off so sim seamlessly. There's no kind of loose strings or anything kind of hanging from the shoe. I just, everything that's down to the detail as well, like for example, all of these lines over here just draw so much interest and texture to the shoe, like I said. And yeah, for that reason, I just feel like this is a lot more elevated, I think, for your money than maybe the Common Projects, which just serves as a very minimalist and kind of um, incognito, I guess, designs. As you can see over here, there's no kind of lines or anything. There's just a subtle gold branding here. But with the acnes, there's kind of like different stitching over here, different panelings and things like that. So it's a completely different vibe, but in terms of like luxury shoes, I think they, or luxury trainers, sorry, they serve completely different purposes, if, if you know what I mean. Like this is a little bit of a statement, even though it's a white trainer, it's quite basic, but this is very incognito, like, that is, this is not the focus of your outfit, but this can be if you dress, you know, to, to try to point the direction there. Like for example, wide leg trousers again, and then maybe also some, what are they called? Slip skirts. I really love wearing these with satin slip skirts and kind of a crop jumper on top. I think it also elevates the outfit a bit more and makes it less feminine and clunkier. So yeah, these are my three current shoes that I own that are leather trainers. I tried on a lot, a lot, a lot of different pairs um, before I decided on them. I know that I've wanted the Valentinos actually for a bit and then the Alexander McQueens as well. But I think trying them on, like I couldn't really in my head justify that high price point knowing that, you know, most of the money that you're putting towards it is for the branding and the name. But I think I just wanted the white trainer to serve a design and... Kind of outfit purpose rather than having it be a focal point so that's why i kind of justified these three pairs which are still kind of premium price points but not as extortionate as you know maybe the alexander mcqueen and um, valentino sneakers are or the gucci ones that are also really popular lately i've been wanting another pair of vejas and i actually ordered this exact v10 style in the all white so it's called extra white i think but when they came i just Something in my head, I can't really get past buying the same style in a different color. Like, I, I just can't get past it. I was like, oh, it's just the same shoe, so why would I buy it again? Um, so I, there's just kind of like some sort of mental blocker for me. So I kind of wanted to find something really similar to this, but it's not the exact um, same style from the same brand. And I went shopping because things opened up again in London. This past weekend, I went to Spitalfields to a place called Mercantile London and I bought a really pretty ring there. But while I was in the store, I saw a brand called Autry, which is this brand. It's called Autry Action Shoes. The second I saw these trainers, I was like, just 
in love basically they, they were everything that i kind of wanted in a shoe and it was felt in terms of the leather much softer so i'll just I, i'll stop rambling and i'll show you the shoes so these are the ones i ended up getting these are called the Autry low profile shoes i think that's what it's called and they are in the classic kind of white style but with the gold backing this isn't actually gold it's just a mustard yellow and this is kind of in a velvety kind of material feeling so when i saw these I couldn't really contain my excitement just because they, in terms of silhouette, it looks a little bit different than the Veyas. It's a little bit, bit chunkier for profile, but still very similar at the top, but more of a sporty vibe than these. And when I felt the leather, I just kind of fell in love. It's very, very soft, very smushy, very high quality, I feel. And everything in terms of the stitching and the inside of the shoe and the leather um, bottom over here. So the difference between this and the Veyas is that the Vejas is actually cloth um, inside um, and then this is leather, I don't want to scratch it but you can hear that it's actually leather and I loved how long the shoelaces are for some reason I just feel like the long shoelaces has a more effortless kind of vibe I don't really know why but to me I just feel like it's it's just like effortless I just put these shoes on um, to go out of the house sorry I have an itch on my face <laughs> really love them profile wise i just love how it looks it just looks very chunky but sleek it looks almost like a little bit of an airplane <laughs> kind of like a boeing i don't know why i think that but it just looks really really nice and sweet and clean um but still being quite chunky the sole again is kind of a creamy vanilla color i would say it's closer to the acnes so you can see here then they are the beiges the stitching is immaculate on all of these trainers to be honest like i don't have anything to fault for any of them and it just has a tiny little branding over here well it's not tiny i guess it's still quite obvious but it just says autry and then american flag and the branding over here at the top it says autry medalist i think is where it says on the tongue and what i really do love about this tongue and i don't know if people will disagree is that this is actually just a raw piece of foam so you can see that this is just you can see the edges over here for me that just makes it a bit lighter and if you're not going to pad the shoe like quite intensely like the acne studios tongue does then i would much prefer the foam to the vasia leather slip tongue that really cuts into my shoe my ankle sorry so yeah i just love that detail about it i put them on and i just didn't want to take them off anymore they're so comfortable and they're very squishy it almost has the feeling of common projects because of the leather back down here none of the other two the acne and the vejas have that so i can feel that my foot is going to be quite like free flowing inside the shoe which i really do like um so feeling wise i would say that it's quite similar to the common projects while still being really chunky and comfortable here there's kind of a towel material so it's it feels like it can keep you dry <laughs> i think at least i don't know but yeah like i just really loved the look of this shoe i don't really have anything to say in terms of versatility or durability yet because i haven't worn them out i literally just got them in the mail this morning it does have a little branding over here that has the signature a i think that is over here but it's on the gum sole so that's very kind of subtle and really nice and it has these this like kind of perforated or jutting out bit that is very similar to the acne studios gum sole bit so i really enjoyed that as well and i really liked it and the suede paneling or the kind of velvety material paneling at the back over here is also really nice it just also does say ot tree i think in the back here i don't know if you can see it but yeah it's like kind of very subtle over here I'm so happy that I got these. I can't wait to kind of wear them out and test drive it and see if it's super comfortable. But I researched a little bit of, about the brand after I saw it on Mercantile and I found out that they used to be huge, like the most popular shoe brand, I think, back in the 80s in the US. I think they're originally from Dallas, Texas. And they kind of dropped off the map in the 90s and they just recently came back, I think, uh, in the last few years or so. And they are bringing back kind of like their archive styles. They also have a few with kind of cracked leather over here, which is pretty cool. And different suede versions in different colors. So definitely this, I think, is one of the shoe brands that's at top of my list for sneakers recently. I'm, I'm keeping, I keep going back to like the website to see if they, they're coming out with anything new. So this is definitely like one of my favorites um lately so far great that was everything i think thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any additional questions about any of these trainers i know that the vejas and the common projects are quite popular in terms of people's choices so hopefully that kind of shows you a comparison between the two brands and the two silhouettes definitely let me know if you want me to do kind of a review video on this autry 
brand because I'm just so happy with them and I feel like they are definitely up and coming in terms of popularity. They're kind of popping up in different kind of um, retail e-com stores now. So I'm hoping that I see them more. And yeah, subscribe if you would like to see more shoe related and bag related videos from me and my obsessions. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!